guys welcome back to the channel today is actually a day and i'm recording this for the second time because the first time it didn't want to work and today my table is different because well it's too big to fit on my normal desk so i'm just on this table um so today we're taking a look at cd series grindor or blackout it really doesn't matter because they are the same but doesn't mean this is a bad figure. Now moving this guy out of the way. We're going to take a look at the box for once. It is a box. But you also get this backdrop. Which is a backdrop. So yeah. Um, and now to take a look at the only reason this review exists. This figure. That, that kind of worked. Um, but first, you have binge food. We're taking a look at this thing first, and I need to. I'm taking a look at Ravage first because he is part of this. Um, nine. He looks pretty good, but like, that's not the main reason anyone would buy this figure, and it won't focus on Ravage, which is annoying. But he's pretty well detailed. He can do a bend. And his both of his legs are the exact same. They can bend all the way. Um, which is pretty useful. And it can also hinge out slightly. Now Ravage I don't really care for. Because it is a little thing. But now Grindor. On the other hand. Or Blackout I don't care. Is pretty cool. And I can't go up to <laughs> Um, Now he's pretty cool. But first, in terms of kibble, he doesn't have any besides this backpack, which is illegal. Now, I wouldn't mind it that much if it didn't really, like, hurt the figure anyway. Like, this is accurate, so I don't care about that. But this part is annoying. Because you can't actually bend the legs back enough. Here is Starscream. So, yeah. You can actually make... Wait, I should probably do it. Um, he can look this far up, that far down, decent tilt, um, and he can kind of look side to side. Not that much though, it's kind of obstructed, but it's still pretty cool. Now, he his arm can go all the way forward, mostly, and actually pretty far backwards, if you're not dealing with the rotors. Which can be kind of annoying, but it does look cool. Now, he does get a nice 90 degree bend at the elbow. Um, there is a rotation. And now the hands, I love the hands because they're fully articulated. So, you can go up and down. There is a rotation. And the hands actually have articulation. This can go out and this can fold in, which is pretty nice. Um, now, he can actually kick to the side very far actually further than this but it's kind of annoying to get him to do that he can kick up really far though um and he has very nice and clicky ratchet joints now if you bring up the skirt thing i don't know what to... this you can he can kick forward pretty far but he can't kick back that far due to the thingy um if you you can't there's two joints there um there and if you extend it he will be taller but that kind of makes him look skinny um and so yeah and he can those do bend back um now the feet are pretty well articulated which is nice they can kick forward a bit very far back and a nice tilt so overall this guy is pretty articulated which is pretty nice um now you do have this which is parts forming, which is illegal. But it can clip on there. And it doesn't look great, so I'm not going to have it there. I kind of like it with there, I'm going to admit. But for the review, I'm going to say it is illegal. Because, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Overall, the robot mode is fantastic. And I have the same to say for the vehicle mode. But first, I will prove that it will fall down. 
I was debated, I didn't want to fall over, so now we are taking a look at the, ro the alt mode. <laughs> um, so yeah. Also now I will- why is this still poking up? It shouldn't be like that. Um, now I'll be taking a look at the alt mode, and I was proven wrong. I swear, I swear it sometimes falls over. Maybe it's because I don't have it extended. And I'm gonna shoot every single figure I review. Because you have to check how, how well it's going to stand. Maybe I should do it again. Um, <laughs> so how you transform it is actually kind of difficult, but also kind of easy. It's kind of confusing. Um, and this is the main reason I'm on a different table, because it's bigger. Or I guess I was at my desk before. Um, what we're going to do, unhinge those, spin them around, click them in, bring that around, click near i just bring it like that and do that and now that he is like this you will realize he has ascended yeah that's, that's the best joke i can do okie dokie um now you're just gonna spin these around due to the thingy there i should have covered that in articulation but you just spin them around basically the rotations right um and he is very annoying to hold like this in front of a camera. It is easier um, off cam, but I can't do it off cam. <laughs> um, then untab the backpack and click that, uh, bring that part up and tap it in. And just kind of bring that below that part. And then you're going to want to untab that whole section. Uh, bring forward the, the that and just kind of ratchet the legs up, and then you will be it will be like this. So you're just gonna bring the whole leg section up and tab the feet into the backpack area. Um, yeah. Back. I'm not keeping that. Thing. Um. So now he will be like this. Now make sure the skirt is still pulled up because it'll make it more difficult if it is not. Um. Just kind of rotate the arms around till it is like that. Bring up that whole section. Um. Rotate the hands. Bring them in. And kind of press them in if they're like fists. Um, and then like kind of tab that section in. And then just tab this there. But first, you're going to want to untab it from there. Kind of just pull on it. And tab that in. I really don't like this transformation on camera, but off camera it is fine. And then do the same with the other side. Very difficult on camera. And I... Fuck. Oh my god. Sometimes, man. Hell, that is the arms. You are going to want to take this section and just kind of pull that forward. That's the easiest way to get out. And bring that up and push that forward. And just shove down the head, basically. And this whole side, you just bring it down. Um, and then realize the arm has untapped again. And then just kind of tab these parts together and bring those like that. And then you're just going to bring these parts around, kind of, and just, like, do that. Um, and then this section, the parts where you just flip that out, and there's a little tab on the end there. Um, and then tab that in, because sometimes it will untap. Now, that's just going to be like that the whole time, because on my copy, I don't know why, but it won't tab in. Yours, it should be fine, but it's held together by friction tabs, which is dumb. Friction tabs are dumb. They just are. And now Ravager is going to flip the helicopter over side. And just make 
try and make ravage as flat as a pancake as you can and there is little tabs there and you're gonna bring in ravage tail first here and there's a little tab on his chest area and I just tap him in And now once you have gone through the absolute hell of a transformation for the arms, you are left with this fantastic helicopter mode. Um, even like the profi side profile is clean. Like there's mostly no kibble, which is like the stuff, the junk. Um, uh, but on this side, it is also pretty kibbleless, which is very nice. Uh, now bringing it back up for a closer view, he is very great. You can see there is some decals here. Um, I don't think I did the legs right. That's probably why it keeps on tapping, but it should be fine. Um, there are some decals here, which it says Marines and then America stuff, and number 53, and says Danger Keep Away. And then I really like the yellow they used here, and 53, of course. And this f whole section here, like this whole thing there and that, has a really nice premium feel to it. I don't know if it's the way they painted it, but whatever, it feels very nice and premium, which I like. And there is a nice Decepticon logo there. Yeah. Um, and then windows, I think, I don't know what those are, but they, there. Um, there is this nice bronze here. Um, and then that, which is very weird feeling because it's textured. And then there is some rust paint thing there, and that is red. And now you're probably wondering, how well it spins, a Rooney? You can spin, yeah, oh. I, I shouldn't have said a Rooney, that's probably why. Uh, oops. Now, it, this whole section does untab pretty easily, the rotor, but you can just, like, flip it back up, and it's fine. Now, this whole section spins, eh, eh. but now, because, like, it would be weird in the robot mode. But this section here, that spins great. If I put my finger in, ah. Um, overall, this, this mode is fantastic. It is great. Both modes are great, in fact. Everything about this figure is great, besides that backpack problem, which I can look over, I guess, because... Like, it's one little thing that doesn't ruin that figure that much, because the figure is amazing. Um, except for the arms in the transformation, which suck. They just do. I cannot say anything good about the arms. The arms are just hell. They just are. If you buy this figure, which I highly recommend, by the way, um... Be aware of the arms, they are annoying. Um, and if you do buy it, I recommend you buy it, like, anywhere, because it is at retail everywhere, which is cool. Um, now for some size comparison, here is Jolt, and here is Starscream, which I am not going to transform him, because I don't want him, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Um, now I hope you guys subscribe, because I will beg for subscriptions now. Um, I hope you guys subscribe, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you look in, the, in that corner, there will be a little video thingy telling you to watch. If you want to watch it. Or maybe a different video, oh spooky ass.